my first electric car. We're doing it. Do I look psyched? There's something historic on this GPS. It's the original In-N-Out burger. You can't see it, you can only see the sign. So funny that there's a Tesla right there. I decided I'm getting a Tesla. Northridge has tons of Tesla chargers and nothing else. Earlier in the year, I was driving the Polestar. I would go to the few chargers that were available and there would already be cars charging there. Slick Nick XP on YouTube is telling me if you can, get a black Model Y. Never really test driven a Model 3 or a Model Y. I've never even been in a Model Y. They've got like 30 Teslas. That's the reason I'm going to West Covina, even though it's an hour away. Get an idea of which Tesla I want and hopefully I can leave with one because he said my credit score is like, I'll, I'll basically have a car within 20 minutes. This is important. When you get a used electric car, there's a $4,000 tax credit in California, but it has to be under $25,000. You can't have used one of these electric vehicle tax credits within three years. So you do need to have the tax liability. If you don't owe 4,000 in taxes, then you can't utilize it. But now that I realize I won't be able to utilize it this year, opens me up to a much wider price range. Before, there was no way I was getting a Model Y. I'm back from the dealership. It was a depressing experience. The light's dim in here, it's like midnight. Several hours to recover from the depression. Plug-in automotive, they were so nice. There was a major drawback. They charge an extra $4,000, they tack it onto the car. They don't tell you about until you get there. I only looked at car gurus. I'm telling them like, that's deceptive. And they're like, oh no, that's not deceptive. It wasn't on car gurus. And they're like, oh yeah, it was. So I checked, I, I went on the car gurus. I read all the fine print. I looked at everything that I could. It's not on there. So he lied to me. Like, what is it? What are these products you're selling me that I've never heard of? They also wouldn't sell me a warranty on this one car, which is so sus. I'm going to pay a down payment on credit card. And they did right away say like, oh, they don't do that. I'm telling them that's what I'm doing. They hard inquired my credit, went through the whole process, what took forever. And then when they come back to me, they're like, oh, you have to put $4,800 down. I told you I'm not doing that. Like, why would you run my credit and do all this stuff? I didn't even eat dinner. I was so stressed out from the whole experience. The car in Studio City that I'm realizing just maybe a, a better choice for me. It's completely out of the warranty on the miles. What are the odds if I get like a 70, 100,000 mile Tesla? What are the odds that I actually have a battery problem? Because I want the warranty for the battery and the motor. What are the odds that I actually have that kind of problem before the warranty? Maybe I should just go get an aftermarket warranty. How much is a battery or a motor if they go bad? If a warranty is like 4K or more and a battery is like 11, just take the gamble. Pay the 11,000 to put a battery in it. It sucks but I'll have a new battery. News, remember when I was showing you guys the, the white Tesla, didn't work out at that place. Plug-in motorsports in West Covina was horrible. I told the salesman when he was pissing me off before I left, God's telling me this is not the one. I pulled the trigger on the one. Buying a car is like getting married. My first electric car. We're doing it. The front windshield has got a tint. I'm already having a problem. I want to turn off the air conditioner and I can't figure out how. Oh, maybe this is it. I'm already in traffic and I don't have to drive. No touching the wheel. Just let the car drive itself. Let's see how long we can go before it asks me. My feet are not on the pedals. I'm two miles into driving this thing and I'm already loving it. <laughs> Let's enjoy the sunset while I don't drive. Come on, dude. I've wanted an electric car since the EV1 in the early 90s. It hasn't asked me to put my hand on the wheel. It told me when I first engaged it, this is one of the main reasons I wanted an electric car. Lots of cars do this, but the electric cars do it better. Switch to night mode. I've bought a brand new car before. I got the van recently. I've never gotten the exact car that I wanted. Really liked that Honda Odyssey van, but I wanted a Toyota Highlander. I'll have to do is put my foot on the gas. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah.
trying to get video of you. Oh, maybe you're not that old. <laughs> well, the one show that I watched, Kindig, he's the guy that invented that. TV screen in there, it's cool. Your mother asked me if it was a four door. I spent most of my life not liking four doors and now that's all you can get with an electric car. The new Corvette, right? What do they do about a front license plate? I have to get a bracket. Oh. How come it's got paper plates? There. Right there. Well, you know, people that, whoever bought this car, if they bought it new, they probably can afford personalized plates. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is four. Yeah, when I bought my Forerunner, the guy wanted the old plates. It was good my solar panels didn't get stolen. How do I, how do I open the door? Push on the big part. <laughs> gosh that is stunning what year car is this stunning car smells new the chargers right by my house it's just after nine and that's when the rates i think go down i'm excited to find out how much what the rates are here i'm a little embarrassed like i'm coming over here to the tesla club oh look there's chargers right there dude i didn't even realize like, all by themselves coming to a new school and like there's all these strangers around me kind of embarrassed to get out and go plug in. All of a sudden the chargers got so loud. So check it out. If I wait a few hours, like midnight, I can charge for 22 cents a kilowatt hour. I think that's cheaper than if I were to charge at home. Now it's 34 cents. So if I just wait, I can save a lot of money. So like 50 cents for every penny, because I'm going to get like 50 kilowatt hours, a lot cheaper to charge if I wait. That sound, was not the chargers, it's my car. I put the charging information on the screen. Start preconditioning the batteries. Let's see how many Teslas are at the charger at midnight. They're showing up, dude. It's 22 cents. There's a lot of cars here at midnight. That's not good. There we go. Okay, yeah, way better than the Polestar. <laughs> the charging situation on anything but a Tesla really is ridiculous. In literally one second, it's charging. And it says it's only gonna take 25 minutes. I'm done charging, we're out of here. Oh, I gotta put it in drive. I bet you people set their alarm clock to come and charge, but at least there's open spots where when I came here earlier, there was one open spot. Wow. I'll show you how far my house is from these chargers. It's not far. Um, <laughs> it's pretty convenient. The unfortunate thing is it's so, it charged in, let's see, I got here at like 12.05 and it's 12.33. So it took less than 30 minutes to get to 80% charge. But I was already at 40% charge. And I would rather just wait till I get down to 20 because it charges even quicker but hey that was pretty quick less than 30 minutes from 40 to 80 and now I have it says that I can go 265 miles I bet you I could go further y'all are probably saying yeah right you know there's no way you're gonna go that far let me switch the camera around this new iPhone the front camera is way better. Let's try. How do I look now? I'm already home. Not to show off, just to show you. Okay, maybe a little bit to show off, but I wanted to show you why I bought a Tesla. Since it only takes like 30, 40 minutes to charge the thing, by the time I got home, it would be time to go back to get the car. How long do I have to change the oil on that one? That one doesn't have oil. It's not oil. It's it's I'm here for a little bit. It's going to help you out. It's going to be $22.99 for that. This is crazy. There's Century Mode videos, it's Las Vegas. This is where the car was from. All of this footage from Las Vegas. See what this car has been through. Where the red dot is, that's where the event is. This is the first video, and it's just footage of them driving in a new housing complex in what looks like Vegas. Here goes Studio City, that's uh, where I bought it. Yep, 
And these cars are little spies. That thing about the iPhone, the, the heat issue that people have been talking about, is always hot, like right on the back right here. I'm just browsing websites and the thing heats up. Cook an egg on this thing. I can't believe those guys 4K onto the price of a car, like standard, like every car. They even said that's why our prices are so low. I'm thinking like, what? So you can trick people into coming in? And then once they're there and they're they're in love with the car, they'll just pay the 4K. Because, you know, when you go through the trouble of like going to a dealership and going through all this stuff, that's what, how they're able to like push this stuff on you because you're already at this point, you're like, okay, I want to go home with this car. And like, let's say a car is 35, 40, $50,000. They have really nice used cars though. There's a Lambo. They're just going to pay it. And that's probably because that's probably what people do. I'm not one of those people. I want to punch you in the face for even trying that and for doing business that way. Assholes, dude. And they know they're assholes. That's why when I call them out for it, they get all upset. That's not deceptive. The paint protection that they're trying to sell you for $2,000. I was an auto detailer for years. Ceramic coating, Teflon paint protection, all these things. Like I know what that stuff is. It's not a complicated process to apply. You could do it yourself at home. The important part of the process isn't even the application. It's the prep before application. You need the paint to be completely pure and clean in order for it to really work well. The cars weren't even like smooth. The best way to get your car super smooth is with car clay. Not even thoroughly cleaned so that they were smooth. The car that I was trying to go home with, it, it had white Caltrans paint, like painted lines, and then the paint goes up on your car. And it's really hard to remove that. It's like these chunks of whiteout stuck to the car and you can't get them off. I asked them, like, is the paint protection already applied? It would have been nice if they would have taken off this Caltrans paint before they applied the paint protection. I'm not paying $2,000 for paint protection. And I especially I'm not paying for it when it's applied over a, a splatter of Caltrans paint down the side of the car. I was starting to get vibes. Like every time I called them out for certain things, if people want to hate you for trying to be honest, I don't want to get ripped off. If you want to hate me for that, then so be it. 